Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're embarking on a long, detailed journey as we explore some branchiopod habitats in the Texas Hill Country. I want to begin by giving a huge shout out to my friend Tony, who captured these equally amazing aerial shots with his drone. I deeply appreciate him joining me on these mini expeditions and helping me secure such breathtaking footage that truly brings these habitats to life. When most people think about ephemeral wetland systems, vernal pools for example, their mind often drifts to places like California or to the northeastern states such as Virginia or Vermont. These locations are renowned for their extraordinary biodiversity and branchiopods that play a unique role in these ecosystems. However, these temporary habitats exist in many regions, including right here in central Texas. For those of you who may not be familiar with the term ephemeral wetland, Think of it as a habitat that seasonally fills with water, only for a limited period of time before completely drying out during the dry season. Because these bodies of water are temporary, they cannot support fish populations, but they do sustain a variety of other organisms, most notably branchiopods, which is the focus of this channel. It is important to note that these habitats can vary widely depending on the geographical setting and other environmental factors. If you're overall new to my channel and you're curious about the word branchiopods, allow me to explain. Branchiopods are a fascinating group of crustaceans that thrive in these ephemeral wetlands, much like the one that we're showcasing in this video. What makes them remarkably unique is their ability to enter a state known as cryptobiosis, a kind of diapause. It enables them to survive under the most extreme conditions. When these habitats are replenished with rainfall, the dormant organisms hatch and grow at an astonishing rate in order to reach maturity before the water disappears. Given the fleeting nature of their environment, they produce a specialized egg that can resist heat, cold, and drying. These eggs lie dormant in the soil long after the pond has evaporated, waiting for the next rainy season to restart the cycle. Through this ingenious survival strategy, branchiopods have sustained countless generations, even in areas voided of life. This diverse group includes bear shrimp, tadpole shrimp, and clam shrimp, each contributing vitally to the food web and providing an essential resource for animals such as birds. Here in Texas, we typically experience the highest rainfall during the spring and fall season. Today on May 4th, the rain has been generous enough to rejuvenate the landscape. The flora is vibrant and the blossoms appear in the thousands. We are revisiting an ephemeral pond that, while I suspect may have been man-made, teems with life. The organisms here only have a two to three week window to hatch, grow, and breed before the pond dries up once more. This makes the moment all more precious and demands that we seize every opportunity to observe the natural processes at work. Surrounded by an abundance of carbonate rock, limestone for instance, the pond is situated at a lower elevation than the surrounding landscape. This topographical detail is crucial. When it comes to rain, runoff from the higher areas flows downhill and accumulates in the pond. As a result, this ephemeral wetland is typically enriched with salts especially ions like calcium and carbonate, due to the degradation of the surrounding rocks. Such mineral enrichment tends to favor branchiopod species that rely on higher calcium concentrations, including clam shrimp and tadpole shrimp, and perhaps even certain species of fairy shrimp. The weather has been simply perfect, with temperatures maintaining a comfortable range between 70 to 80 Fahrenheit. Conditions are ideal for triggering hatching for many of these invertebrates. So I was thoroughly excited to see what emerges during the springtime. As I step closer to the pond, I notice that it is teeming with life. Tiny creatures are agitating the water and debris is moving in every direction. And it looks like hundreds of shrimp are thriving in this shallow body of water. Because these organisms specialize in living in stagnant or calm waters, they are incredibly adept at tolerating low oxygen levels and can accommodate significant crowding as the water recedes. As the water levels diminish, the concentration of shrimp becomes strikingly evident. 
On the edges of the pond, patches of tadpole shrimp are especially prominent. Tadpole shrimp, among the larger branchiopods, are inherently omnivorous. They feed on nearly anything, whether it's plant matter or live organisms such as mosquito larvae. Many of you might recognize them by the name triops, as they're commonly marketed as an instant pet. Their appearance is reminiscent of creatures from the prehistoric times, with two main eyes and a distinctive third central eye that adds almost an alien quality to their look. Their broad carapace resembling a protective shield combined with a long abdomen and a forked tail further accentuates their primitive charm. Beneath the carapace, you can observe an array of feather-like appendages that serve in multiple roles, facilitating swimming, aiding in respiration, and even helping them capture prey. These remarkable creatures are not just visually fascinating, they are also key players in their ecosystem, serving as the main predators in these ephemeral ponds. The species present here is Triops longicaudatus, and is typically found in places where the soils are calcareous, ensuring that there is a sufficient amount of calcium available for proper growth. This is one of the reasons why tadpole shrimps do not normally thrive in parts of the eastern United States, where the constant rainfall tends to lead to minerals deep into the soil, resulting in a lower calcium content. Yet, the true stars of this ephemeral pond are the clam shrimp. These creatures have charmed many observers despite their awkward, almost derpy appearance. They seem as if they have never quite mastered the art of swimming. One might wonder how evolution has led to such a peculiar design. The reality is that these shrimp, true to their name, possess a clam-like or bivalve-like carapace that can close securely when danger is near. Inside the protective casing, however, they are much like other branchiopods. They have delicate feather-like or leaf-like appendages that allow them to move gracefully through the water, facilitate breathing, and assist in feeding. They also feature long tendril-like extensions at the front of their bodies that help them propel them around their aqueous environment. While I do not know the exact species of this clam shrimp, I can affirm that this particular specimen belongs to the genus Zysiscus one of the larger clam shrimp genera in North America. This population is gonochoric, meaning that both males and females are present, and on closer examination, you can even see males latching onto females during the mating process. These clam shrimp are extraordinary in every respect. Their golden brown coloration, paired with the intricately ribbed carapace, gives them an uncanny resemblance to real clams. For many, Encountering these creatures for the first time feels remarkably foreign, almost as if stepping into an entirely unfamiliar world, largely because these guys are seldomly seen or even discussed in everyday life. My mission is to bring these fascinating creatures into the spotlight, presenting them in such a way that just reveals the beauty of them, and also letting you know how important they are to the ecosystem and to biodiversity in general. Although it may have been man-made, that does not negate that it is incredibly important in ecological value. It is an astounding example of a habitat that supports a wide range of branchiopods. Beyond this pond, there is another spot I felt compelled to showcase, especially because it offered a unique opportunity to observe fairy shrimp, which are among my favorite branchiopods. Their diversity, and the elegant way in which they glide and dance through the water is nothing short but mesmerizing. This particular site is one of the most absolute favorites. It's an oasis of lush vegetation and striking biodiversity nestled in the heart of the Texas Hill Country. The plants, the aquatic organisms, and the overall vitality of this area makes it truly unforgettable. Admittedly, the recent rainfall has been somewhat sporadic in certain areas, leaving me uncertain about the exact timing and freshness of the water in this location. I'm also unsure if the fairy shrimp had enough time to fully develop, which only adds to the mystery and allure of this site. Nonetheless, it remains an amazing spot, and I hope to revisit soon, at the time when conditions are optimal for capturing some truly graceful underwater footage. This site is characterized as an ephemeral stream, 
and its hydrology is marked differently from the pond that we observed earlier. From the aerial shots, it is evident that this location features an abundance of vegetation and remarkably clear water. This clarity is largely due to the unique way that the water interacts with the surrounding terrain. Rather than funneling into a single basin and accumulating minerals over time, the water here likely leaches minerals away. The mineral deposits here are much lighter, as shown by the abundant growth in the moist, boggy areas. Plants flourish in these conditions, while species needing drier soil line the edges. In contrast, the previous spot almost had no vegetation due to the high salt levels from the heavier minerals, indicating a much lower mineral content here. To clarify for those who may not be familiar with branchiopods, the mineral content within the substrate and the dissolved minerals released into the water are key factors influencing the species' presence in these habitats. Environmental conditions such as heavy rains that dilute the water in terms of mineral content can trigger the hatching of one particular species of fairy shrimp that prefers those diluted conditions. Conversely, as the water gradually evaporates and the concentrations of total dissolved solids increases, a different species may begin to hatch and flourish, while the previous dominant species starts to decline. It is this dynamic interplay between the water chemistry and the organism's response that create a constantly shifting mosaic population over time. During my visit here, I noted the presence of an abundance of fairy shrimp, with only a minimal occurrence of both tadpole and clam shrimp. This is significant because tadpole shrimp and clam shrimp have a tendency to stir up debris from the benthic region, often giving the water a cloudiness appearance. In stark contrast, this habitat is dominated by fairy shrimp, which are renowned for their exceptional filter feeding capabilities. Equipped with 11 pairs of delicate appendages, these creatures skillfully capture debris and microorganisms from the water column, drawing them directly into their mouths. Fairy shrimp are, without a doubt, my absolute favorite branchiopods. They exist in such a dazzling variety of shapes, colors, and sizes, which makes them especially captivating. This efficient feeding process plays a major role in maintaining the pristine clarity of the water. The species that I observed here is the Greater Plains fairy shrimp, scientifically known as Streptocephalus texanus. Found throughout much of the United States, these remarkable organisms typically grow to about an inch in length and exhibit a slender, almost ethereal appearance. Their bulging eyes enhance their charming and almost endearing quality. While they are predominantly transparent in coloration, many individuals display a subtle red banding along their bodies and they always seem to feature those distinctive red-tipped tails. The fair shrimp's intricate, feathery limbs are not only essential for graceful locomotion, but also serve as a highly effective tool for filter feeding. As these shrimp glide effortlessly through the water, they maintain a relatively stationary pattern, often congregating in a tight swarm. Out of all the branchiopods, these fairy shrimp remind me of the shrimp that you find in a restaurant menu or the ocean. However, they're essentially a miniature version that is much more delicate than their marine counterparts. In conclusion, I am thrilled that I had the opportunity to create this video, and I am immensely grateful to my friend Tony for his spectacular aerial shots that have provided us with a fresh perspective of these unique environments. I hope with this video that you have gained a deeper understanding of branchiopods and the critical role that their habitat plays in our broader ecosystem. These ephemeral wetlands, despite their transient nature, are essential to sustaining biodiversity and supporting ecological balance. Today we examined three types of branchiopods, fairy shrimp, tadpole shrimp, and clam shrimp. For those who are eager to dive deeper into the subject, please check the links in the description below where you will find additional research papers and resources on branchiopods. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please leave a comment with any questions or simply express your gratitude. Your feedback means the world to me. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel so that you can join me on future adventures in the hidden corners of our natural world. I am continually striving to improve my content 
and your support is what makes this journey so rewarding. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video.